matrices and network diagrams. This is a network diagram. It's a, connect a collection of points or vertices. These are labeled A, B and C. And connections between them, lines which are known as edges. And they can be used to show uh, connections or relationships. So they're often used to show connections between towns in this case or people who have met, friendship networks, um, connections for utilities, that sort of thing. So this one is showing connections between towns, so roads. Use a matrix to represent the connections between towns A, B and C. Now each element shows the number of direct routes between two towns. So there's one way of getting from A to B. There's no ways of getting from A to C because there's no direct connection. Sure, we could go around, but we're looking at direct connections only. So we set up a matrix with a row and a column for every vertex. So we're going to have columns A, B and C and rows A, B and C. You can label the rows on either side. I tend to prefer labeling them on the left because we read rows then columns. And this is from here to here. But we don't need to label from and to if we don't want. Now there's no roads from A to A. That would be a loop going back on itself. No roads from B going back to B. No roads going directly from C back to C. So from A to A, there's nothing. From B to B, there's nothing. From C to C, there's nothing. And you'll often see a pattern in this diagonal linking identical things down a matrix. This is called the leading diagonal. And we'll talk about it at some stage later. From B to A, there's one road. And that means that from A to B, there's one road. From B, oh, where are we going? From A, sorry, to C, there's no roads. So that means from C to A, there's no roads. From B to C, there's two roads, which means from C to B, there's two roads. We've made a matrix. What does the sum of row two tell us? If I add it up, row 2, 1 plus 0 plus 2 is 3, that says there's three direct roads leading into B or from B. Either way is fine. There are three direct roads correct, connecting B to other towns. And often we might have to draw a graph to show the connections in a matrix. Same thing, A, B and C, A, B and C. Now all of these, your graphs will look different because you get to choose where to put A, B and C. But really, just pop them in somewhere not too ridiculous. Pop them in a group like that. Don't put them all in a straight line, you'd have to get creative. From A to A, nothing. From B to B, nothing. From C to C, nothing. So we know there's no loops going in. From A to B, one road. If I'm doing this in a test, I actually quite like to cross off as I've tackled something. So from A to B means that from B to A is also dealt with. A to C, no roads which means A to C, no roads, leaving me with B to C, C to B, two roads. Oh, look. Oh, look, I created exactly the same matrix. It was really unhelpful of me. I'm sorry, I was trying to make up a new matrix and I didn't notice it was the same as the original. Well, that was just boring, Ms. McClintock. Okay, we did our best. And next time, I'll make a better example. But that is network diagrams with matrices.